Hello and welcome. This is Zoe Gold and in today's video we're gonna take a look at how you can go from your goals to your results. What stands behind it and what's necessary for you to know and for you to do today so you can move directly to your aim, to your goal and actually have it manifested. Uh, not only, you know, in your dreams, but actually here in this physical form. So, in order to have any kind of transformation or improvement or in order to actually have your goal um, uh, manifested, what you need is the first thing here is focus. So you first of all have to know what it is because you cannot go get somewhere if you have no idea where you're going. So you have to know what it is. And there has to be that laser crystal clear focus internally and when, with your actions and things that you do. So you know already, you've heard it, that 80% that is responsible for your success, it's your psychology. It's the inner state that you are in, it's your mindset, it's whatever is going on within you. And of course, 20% is strategy. So first is focus, knowing what it is and, and focusing on it internally. So nothing is actually tearing you apart, like doubts, like different inner conflict, like this is not for me, I'm not good enough and all other stuff we're not going to go into right now. So without those inner entanglements going with that crystal clear focus towards that thing that you want and flowing the ideas and and having your mind clear and just um you know zooming in on that so that's the first thing the second thing is 20 percent is the strategy so here comes the we are physical beings so we have to act so these are the strategies the skills um, uh, the things that you need to learn, the things that you need to do, like for example, if it's a business, um, setting up business meetings, learning about marketing, sales um, um, strategies, whatever, if you're a speaker speaking, if you're um, an actor taking acting classes and doing something actually, right? Finding the jobs, etc. So the first is focus. The second thing is strategy. Now, let me ask you this question and think about either yourself or you can think about your friends or family members or somebody you know. How many of you actually know what you want? Like, you know what you want. You know what the true calling of your heart is. You know your vision. You know how it feels. Like, you, you just, you know what it is. Okay. And you even have the best strategies. You've been studying for a while. You've done a lot of, um, a lot of different uh, work in the field. You're very experienced, very knowledgeable. You can truly, like again, if we are talking about business or career, but you can actually apply this to any aspect of your life. So you, you're more knowledgeable than anyone you know. You really truly can help your clients or, or uh, people that, that um, basically clients or customers or whoever you're serving if, if you're in, in, the, in, in the, that kind of business, right? So you have focus, you know what you want, you have strategies, so you, you are knowledgeable, uh, you have skills, you are uh, a really good, highly skilled professional. You've done a lot of different projects, like you've heard from this teacher and mentor that you need to do this and you've done it. You've heard from this mentor and teacher that you need to do this and done it. Like, for example, in the coaching industry, I know many uh, clients that come to me, they've written books, they've um, came up with different online programs, they've spoken on different stages, they're trying to do whatever they can and, 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 they are still feel stuck or they cannot break through. And it again can apply, be applied in any business. Like I uh, work with real estate agents and um, again, they go to office meetings, they, um, uh, they take different courses, marketing courses, social media stuff. They do different videos. They, um, they, they advertise. So they do a lot of different steps that they are taught. And for some reason, many of them still cannot break through or they cannot get to the level that, that they will say, yes, I've arrived. This is where I feel comfortable. This is where I feel satisfied. This is what I actually want. Not just, you know, grinding and trying to get just the next extra mile and, and, and putting a lot of effort to it. So that's what I'm talking about here. So how many of you have the focus, have the strategy, but it's just not clicking. It's not, it's just not happening. So there is something that is missing here, obviously, right? What is it? It is that 
integration. So, integration. You have to not only know on a conscious level, you have to integrate it. You have to, you have to feel it, be it, and live it. First of all, you gotta apply the knowledge that you gain, especially if it is um, uh, about the that eighty percent, your uh, inner atmosphere. That is crucial. As Walt Waddle said, you have to act in a certain way in order to get where you want to go, to, to get to the results that you want. So we are talking about that, that inner, inner atmosphere, in psychology, mindset. All of these are just basically describing the same thing. Different mentors call it different things. Vibration, you're in, whatever you want to call it. Whatever's going on in you. Because you live in an internal world and an external. And actually... Most of the time you spend in an internal world. And even when you talk to people, even if you are at a meeting, even if you are doing something, even if your focus is here, there is still something that is going on within you, with your feelings, with your ideas, with your beliefs, with, with that inner chatter, whatever, right? So it is integration. It's not just about knowing, it's about applying it and applying it in a way and having those strategies and tools that help you apply it in a way that you actually integrate it. So I often get this question, um, how long does it take for the change to happen? So the change happens in a second. It might take years for some people to prepare for that second, for the change to happen, right? Because as soon as you have that inner integration, it's done. But when you're going to have it, it actually is really up to you because nobody else can do it for you. What you can do, you can educate yourself on truly the best strategies, technologies and tools. Like, for example, what I offer when I work with my one on one clients and in my different uh, in my different programs um, when when I work with people. Right. So when you actually know how it's done, what to do and um and have those strategies, have those tools, have those resources that can actually help you internalize this because this is your goal. Now, with this internalization, what is it? So you always have a choice. So let's simplify it because everything that is true, it has to be simple. It is simple. Like look around you, right? The beauty, the love, the joy. It's it's that simple, simple, beautiful, joyous stuff. Sometimes it might be challenging to actually experience it or to refocus yourself towards it, but that's what we're going to talk about here. So you have a choice because this inner integration, it's about you being clear of the inner, of that, you know, noise, of that mental clutter, of that everything that is not you within you. Um, data and what is it? Data, memories replaying in you, information replaying in you, past experiences, whatever. What is it? It's just data. What is data? It's not you. When you experience a problem, you're not being yourself. You're operating from that data. When you are you, when you are who you truly, truly are, when you know your true identity of that magnificent infinite divine being that you are the spiritual being in, in physical form your spiritual dna is perfect that's who you truly are so when you operate from that from that inspiration from your true nature or for your from your from your essence it feels like flow it feels like ease it feels like love so it is your choice it's either in any given moment of time about that freedom, internal freedom, and therefore external, because it all starts within, and love. And it can have different shades to it, different levels. And you can call them different positive emotions and different positive feelings, right? The feelings that, 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 that make you feel really good. But it is basically love. Love or resistance. Resistance. And what is resistance? It's those squeezing feeling within. Uh, and they can range. Again, there, there, is, there, 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 is a, um, there are different levels of it. It can go from very slight 
irritation towards something or someone or feelings of hurry uh, which is basically is is fear at some level right it's or it's um, um, actually the feeling of fear when 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 you are scared or you you feel sick to your stomach or other things so it's it's basically either you choose in this moment to operate from your true essence from operate from that when you are in your true essence when you really let go of, of the the mental clutter you tap into that greatness that inspiration and well-being that flows to and through you all the time you're not blocking it it flows freely so in any given moment of time you have a choice whether to operate from love and love you know how it feels it feels free it feels like freedom it feels like ease it feels like when you think about it nothing is turning inside of you it feels like it's done it feels like lightheartedness like joy like appreciation or it is resistance and fear and it is your choice because in order to feel something in order to have that you get a focus on something you have to do something in your mind in your thinking in your in your in your um um in your thinking your mental activity in order to feel something so you focus on something give something your attention your attention to something you think about something and it puts you in a specific um a specific vibration specific feeling specific inner state whatever you want to call it okay now let's come back to integration so this is very simple it's that simple uh, in any given moment of time. Now, if you take a look about inner integration here, it also is happening um, on different levels, but we're gonna take three major ones. And if we cover that, uh, and if you actually have that integrated and, and you actually live from it, that's it. You are first of all free and completely joyous and living this beautiful life experience, appreciating everything there is. And also, you're going towards where you are meant to be, towards your, your calling, towards your vision, towards your goals, towards that life that, that you want. Because if you didn't have the power within you to uh, live it, to have it, to reach it, to achieve it, you would not even have that desire within you. So, within integration, there are a few things. The first one is your feelings feelings and here you can look at the gap and see how you can close that gap so for example you can look at the way you usually feel let's say throughout a week or uh, the last month how do you what emotions do you usually feel how do you usually feel and then ask yourself what do I need to feel or how do I need to feel in order to get where I want to go because your emotions your feelings your inner state these are your inner resources your inner state influences your decisions your behavior your actions and your results because let's say if you're in a fearful state your decision is going to be completely different than if you're coming from a loving free flow state of certainty and knowing okay so feelings the first first thing and then ask yourself so what are those feelings that I need to have what is that inner state that I need to have in order to get where I want to go you will see the gap if there is one for many there will be and then you can ask yourself a question what should I do or how can I feel these feelings that will help me get where I want to go more often how can I make this state dominant habitual emotional home for me because the questions you're asked you ask they help you focus and where you focus uh, goes the energy flows right so the feelings the second thing is your beliefs you probably heard about changing the paradigm changing the beliefs da 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 da, da and all that stuff okay now with beliefs and again uh, there are tools and technologies and strategies and, and truly with, with me traveling all over the world and learning from the best mentors over there and developing my own um, uh, strategies and tools and techniques working on myself and my clients for more than seven years now as a business, um, I truly have this unique 
um, perspective on how to create and make the transformation possible. So that's what I give uh, particular tools um, and particular technology to my clients so they can actually transform it and uh, do it pretty um, in natural way, easier and faster than, than it has ever been done before. So basically that's, that's it. But for you right now, so you can actually apply something from this video. So it's not just another piece of knowledge, but something that you can actually do. You can ask yourself these questions. What are my habitual beliefs about myself, about the environment and about this goal or result that I want? Some beliefs that because what are beliefs beliefs are just thoughts that you keep thinking that you feel certainty about so so what are these beliefs that 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 you have um, in a week or in a month that um that are about you the the world around you and this this result that you have and here you can write positive or uh, beliefs that benefit you and also negative so you can understand where you actually are right now with your beliefs. And then you can ask yourself this question. What beliefs do I need to have in order to get where I want to go, in order to get to the results that I want? What beliefs I should have, the new beliefs, the empowering beliefs, the beliefs that are actually aligned with who I am, with my true identity, with, with who I, I really am? And then again, if there is one, you can see the gap between where you are and where you want to be in your feelings and then in your beliefs. And then you can ask yourself, what are the beliefs that the new beliefs that can help me get where I want to go? What are those empowering beliefs that will help me, will give me the resources, will give me strength, will give me everything I need to get where I want to go? And then there is one more level because usually people stop here. They think about beliefs, they hear a lot about, they read the books about the beliefs and they got, and another problem that I often see from people who come to work with me as, as clients, right? They come to me with a lot of knowledge because people are getting more and more educated these days and there are great resources, which is great, confused about what exactly they need to do and how to shift it. And what exactly like the strategies and tools that they need to apply because they've gathered different different practices throughout the years, uh, different even systems, right? And and they they are confused. They're trying to apply it here and there. It works here and there, etc., etc., etc. Right? So they come to me, and and we look at that. And what again I help them is to come up with their customized version created specifically for them that will actually help them integrate and internalize and create the shift in those beliefs okay with and again today i'm just giving you like very very little just the scratching the surface of of what it is but there we go very very deeply because because this stuff that it's not something that you have to sit and meditate for for hours etc i know nobody has time for that but it is something you can apply on the go just like that um uh, and it is most effective because you are in your daily life you're getting triggered by different things and you're dealing with them right there in that moment so that is very effective. But anyways, beliefs, powerful, powerful. But there is another level. There is something that is even deeper than that. It is your self image or even better to say identity. self-image. Now let me ask you this question. Let's think about your result and let's let's just take for example as an example let's say this is about your business or the business you want to be in or the career or whatever okay. Um, so what has again we are trying to figure out where you actually are right now what exactly is your self-image in a week, in a month, in the past year, about your goal, your result, your, um, your business. So let's say if you're a real estate agent or mortgage broker or coach or what, whoever, what is your self-image in that area? 
What is your identity in that area? Mm -hmm. Just ask yourself those questions and, and feel it and look at where, where, where your focus was going, where your mind was going, where your beliefs were going in the past week and your self-image. Do you really feel like a really successful? Do you have this identity at an identity level? Because identity will always drive your, your decisions, your behavior, your actions and your results. This is how you operate. This is who I am. And basically it's not because there is true identity, who you truly are, that is beyond the game, beyond the illusion, beyond this beautiful um, experience, whatever you, you, you are doing, right? And there is also the identity that you can call learned identity that you imposed on yourself uh, because of different reasons and we're not going to go there uh, right now. So what is that self-image or that identity about your business? What has it been up until now? Is it that, is that identity aligned with the result that you want, with your goal, with who you truly are or not? And if it's not, you can act all day long and you will be just having a lot of actions, a long list to do, a lot of things to do and you won't be able to get there because your identity your self-image and now we are talking about your self-image and your self-identity just about this result it goes beyond that but we're not going to talk about here uh, it here in this video it's it's uh, i just want to give you like particular tips about this particular point how to get from your goals to your results it goes much deeper than that i'm just just giving you the ideas here now and then you can ask yourself this question what my self-image or my identity has to be in order for me to get where I want to go. And there you can apply it right now today, even from today's video. If you want to go deeper than that, um, uh, get on my website, it's zoegold.com. Uh, and you can you can find free resources right now. We're I'm giving away uh, for a very limited time my international best-selling best-selling book in five countries, open to the infinite riches of the universe. It can give you a lot more details about how to how to uh, have this integration, how to create the shift on all the levels, and go even deeper. Other stuff that we didn't even touch here. And also there is a free training, which is um, um, about two hours long. It's also free. It's available on my website and you can go there and you can dive deeper um, into understanding of how you work, how the mind of the universe works, how the laws of the universe works, etc. So um, this is phenomenal because when I see results of, of my clients, people that, that I work with, uh, when the change happens on all these levels and especially uh, the last, I would say all of them, right? Because if you try to pinpoint one or the other, I would say these two probably are more important than that because if you change that, this will change automatically, right? But you can, you can approach it from different sides. So uh, when, when this is shifted, when person just, just gets it and not just gets it here, but gets it here, then that's it. The sky is not the limit and, and uh, miracles just happen. And it's always beautiful for me to see how people truly unleash when I work with them, um, that potential, the, the truth about them, that essence of who they really are. Um, because they put different, you know, stickers and stuff on top of that, but who they truly are is still there. And when it's, when it's unleashed, when it's uncovered, it's beautiful, it's magnificent, it's powerful, and you can be that too. So if you need um, uh, to go deeper into that knowledge, if you need really customized uh, approach to that, which is very effective, and to tell you the truth, the programs that I have at this point are one of the most um, um, effective and powerful that, that are uh, today, right? So uh, you can always get uh, free resources or um, on my website, as I mentioned. But anyways, this was amazing to be here with you today. I hope this was helpful. Use it, apply it, integrate it, and be and live the greatness of who you truly are. Have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.